Nerd Reactor, roll out. What's up, Reactorites? Yes, uh, there's a lot of movies coming out this week. Uh, you have Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, you have Zombieland, Devil Tap, and you have Jojo Rabbit. And I would say I enjoyed all the movies, but out of all three of them, my favorite so far that's coming out this week is Jojo Rabbit. This one's directed by Taika Waititi, and he stars in the movie as an imaginary Hitler. And this movie is called Jojo Rabbit because it stars a kid named Jojo who's played by Roman Griffin Davis. And it also stars Thomas and McKenzie as Elsa. And so her character, she plays a Jewish girl, a Jewish teenager. And Jojo, he's a little boy who's a Hitler youth kid. And he's all about, you know, just uh, fighting for uh, Nazi Germany and also, you know, doing anything to be able to get to meet Hitler and so yeah this movie takes place during World War II and this movie's a comedy and it starts off like oh uh, you know these are the uh, the Nazis this is what they're doing and it's kind of like that uneasy humor where it's, it's kind of like making fun of them uh, just how they are, how evil they are and uh, so it could be unsettling for some but later on uh, it's all about how they're actually pretty bad and uh, you know you, you get to see like just all the bad stuff that's happening uh, around Jojo's life uh, especially during World War II in Germany Nazi Germany but with the rest of the cast you have Scarlett Johansson who plays Jojo's mom and then you have Sam Rockwell who plays a general who's you know teaching these uh, these kids to become a Nazi soldier and uh, so with these characters, it's it's a very this movie is very funny and it's also very emotional. Uh, so this this is one of those movies where not that many directors or writers can can pull it off, but Taika he's able to pull this off because it's such a sensitive subject matter. Even though this is World War II, it happened a while ago. Uh, just the themes, you know, people can still relate to it today with hate. And, uh, you know, just based on a person's uh, background and who they are. And so we're always going to have uh, just troubles with that, like with life, as long as humans exist. And uh, with this Jojo Rabbit, really well done. Oh, definitely one of my favorite films of the year. Uh, Taika as the imaginary Adolf is very funny because it's still... It's still the uh, imagination of Jojo, so uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't really know the information other than what Jojo knows outside there, and uh, he's kind of clueless, and he kind of acts like a kid, too. He's like, I, I don't know what to do. You do something. You're, you're here, you know? I'm just an imaginary guy. And I would have to say, like, this movie does remind me of Life is Beautiful with Roberto Benigni, and with that movie, it's, you know, Roberto Benigni, he's the dad, and he's trying to take care of the kid. To make sure that you know everything's okay, you know, every, even though we're in a concentration camp, uh, I'm gonna try to make it so that it's the best day ever and everything's all fun and games because, and the reality is very harsh and it's the same thing with Jojo Rabbit where the reality is very harsh, and Scarlett Johansson's ma, the mother character is you know trying to make it okay like she's trying to protect her son, and she doesn't want her son to, uh, become like a victim of you know, World War Two, Nazi Germany, and so it's like a delicate touch with the character because she's so sweet and likable and such a great mom, and just her just trying to take care of the son. You see this in her performance, and it's, you know, it's something that you really don't get to see Scarlett Johansson do, or at least for me at least, uh, especially, you know, you watch the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe films, but here, Taika... Taika Waititi, he's at his element, and you know it's he gets to really let loose with this material. So yeah, Taika Waititi is able to pull off a movie like Jojo Rabbit, where you're dealing with World War II with Nazis, and you're actually uh, you know following these characters, the point of view of these uh, these characters that's part of the Nazi party, and. It's, it's, it's just crazy how uh, this movie can still come out today and you're still watching it and you're laughing and then you're also tearing up because it's emotional and yeah it's it's hard this is a type of movie that's very hard to pull off if you're the wrong director or writer for it um, but luckily with this Taika is uh, you know he's behind the he's humming this movie and Jojo Rabbits is one of my favorite films of the year 
And, you know, so once it comes out, let me know what your thoughts are on the comments below. With that said, I'm John, and I'll see you guys next time.